Okay, in our previous session, we discussed about uh, fact models, right? Now, in current session, we are going to talk about the uh, consumption models and the uh, perspectives. So, what SAP is saying about this consumption model? A consumption model can be built on top of business entities or on top of fact models, okay? Uh, which have elements for the consumption model already predefined, okay? And then, uh, this means analytical data sets, fact models, or dimensions have already been defined. So, this we already discussed in our previous sessions. So these consumption models focus on specific analytical requirements. So when we create consumption models, what to have, we will create them as part of a specific analytical requirements. And here we can enrich the model accordingly. What exactly means enrich means here we can create character key figures and character attributes also. Okay. And let's look into this in detail in the system. So how can we create a consumption model by going to business builder and selecting this consumption model and perspective by clicking on this new consumption model, I can create a new consumption. So now here I need to provide a name. So I'm giving sales underscore. So this consumption model is like a multi provider or composite provider uh, to my knowledge uh, in, uh, in our, when compared with the PW. Okay. So sales underscore CP underscore uh, I'm giving uh, three name. Okay, so SAP is uh, prefixing this uh, name, my business name, and uh, with a CM underscore to mention it as a consumption model. Okay, go to next two. Here I can select my either a either my business entity or a fact model. So here I am going to select my business, uh, you know, analytical data set, sales data eighty two. Okay, so I don't want to create it on fact model at this point. So I am directly consuming my uh, analytical data set. This one, go to step three. So here it is providing a source alias name and click on create button. So now the screen almost looks like a fact model only, but this is a consumption model. Here also because on my analytical data set, since I added some of the associations, I can see those associations. I as of now, I added only middle attribute association, so I can see only one. And if you want to make it available for you know reporting these attributes, now click on this dimension sources, click on this plus symbol and select your association, go to next step, go to next step. And here we can link this you know attribute master data go to step four and select the fields whichever you want from your uh, association or master data click on create button so th these uh, uh, these will be added to your output automatically whichever you added from the dimension set those will be added automatically to your output and then uh, as i explained in fact as explained in my previous uh, you know fact model se se session here also we need to select the measures whichever we want from the analytical data set as of now my analytical data set contains only one column quantity as a measure i am adding here and in the attribute section in the attribute section i am going to add the attributes which are available in my analytical data set i am selecting all now, uh, so far we ne we never seen how to create an calculated analytical attribute, right? So here we will learn that. So click on this plus symbol. Here I am going to create a cal month. So I have created an already available here. Uh, I am going to create a cal month. Yes, from time dimensions we can bring this cal month information. But uh, just to show you an example, how can we create a new calculated attributes here in our consumption model? I am doing this one. So this is a type of attribute type, calculated attribute. Here I can write my formula. So my date, so I am using created on date to derive this month field. So to derive month from a date, first of all, I need to convert that date to a string format. To do so, there is a function called to underscore n worker. So using this function, I can convert my date field into string string function. So I'm selecting created on. And then I am I am converting it in a format called y by y by mmdd format. So now you see system will check the formula automatically. It is valid. Now once it converted into this format, I am taking the first six characters. To do so, left is a function given by SAP to uh, bring the first six characters from this string. Okay. So for by this, I can I derived my month cal month with the year and month information. <laughs> Okay, into my this cal month. Done. Click on save button. You are done with creation of calculated month. Yeah, you see uh, the calculated attributes can be displayed with this icon. Uh, you know this calculator calculator icon. 
done. Uh, if we go into the measure section, here also you can create a new measure. So by clicking on this plus symbol, um, as exp like how we have the option in our fact model, similarly here also we have an option to create uh, measures of different types like RKFs, CKFs, and then count measure and all. For example, if you go for CKF, here we have SAP is giving multiple operations to perform the um, you know measures and all. Here you can use all the SAP defined functions to create your calculated CKF. Hmm? Um, okay, let's select for example quantity quantity. 100 just a simple example to do so so add measure from for formula i have quantity and i am multiplying with 100 okay that's it and uh, when coming to exception aggregation if you want to mention anything you can mention as of now it is not required for our scenario click on save button you can and uh, if you want to learn about rkf how to create rkf which i already explained in the fact model here also quickly create one rkf quantity uh, underscore m1 so go to restrict measure select your measure as quantity and then restrictions we can add here select element material i'm giving equal to operator and selecting only if you give it here it will fetch data from your source so m1 apply so m1 so this is an rkf where only m1 data comes into this key fair click on the save symbol uh, similarly, uh, we can create uh, currency conversions also and create fixed columns also. You know, we have multiple options are there. Okay, so we're done with measures, attributes, input parameters, and hierarchies, uh, filters, and all. We will see in uh, coming section because it is a consumption. If you want to apply filters here, and uh, you know, so that the data will, uh, instead of fetching all data from source tables, <coughs> you can uh, you know bring only required fields. These three things we will discuss in later point. Okay, so now next topic here is uh, after in the in the consumption model, uh, you see when I go to general tab, it is showing me an error message here. What is it? Public access or an applicable authorization scenario. So whenever you are creating a consumption model, it is important. What is important? It is important to um, select either allow public data access or specify the authorization. So as of now, I am going for allow public access data. Okay, then this gone. Now coming to the prospect. So uh, first of all, click on save button. So by defining these measures, attributes, input parameters, hierarchies, filters, we are done with the creation of a consumption model. You see, for consumption model, there is uh, no option. Uh, there is no option to save it is, you know, uh, ready for use or something like that. So just click on save button is there. Uh, here we have an option called perspective. What exactly this is perspective is. So to my knowledge, like I can compare this perspective is almost equal to a query in our bw terminology okay how we create a query on multiple we can create multiple queries on a single composite provider in a similar way on one combo on one consumption model we can create multiple perspectives so these perspectives can be um, utilized in a sac for a reporting purpose okay uh, let's look into that once so what SAP is saying about these perspectives, the perspectives are reusable configurations that contain a subset of consumption models, attributes, measures, and parameters. Okay, you can create multiple perspectives for your consumption model, which allow different variants to enable quick validation while modeling. Perspectives can be used to create stories in SAP Analytics Code. Means of using these perspectives also, you can create your stories okay, in the um, SAP Analytics Cloud. You can create perspectives by going to perspectives tab. Okay, as I am showing you, by going to the perspective tab, here you can create your perspectives. Log to for me, it is looking like a query in our BW terminology. Okay, so I clicked on the plus symbol. Now I got this one here. Now I am going to give name as a CP3, uh, you know, sales underscore CP underscore three underscore P1. So I am following, you know, consumption name followed by P1 I am giving as it is a first perspective in this one. This is for for my, name, my naming convention, okay? You can use anything as a well. SAP is prefixing this with the PP underscore. Whatever business name I'm giving, SAP is prefixing with the PP underscore. So here what I can see, um, there is a section called major section, attribute section, hierarchies, filters, row limit, and then authorization scenario. We have many options here to define. So by clicking on this attributes plus symbol, I can add my required attributes. For example, Cal month and then uh, uh, Cal month material, you know, and then material type and material group. I am adding these to the attributes 
apply uh, from major section whichever I want I can add them instead of I can use all or I can select only my required things the key figure section and if any hierarchy is available I can add hierarchies and the filters and all if I, I can add some filters to this one also for example on Calmont if I want to add filter equal to and here I can select you know things and elements uh, values under value section I can add it but as of now I don't want to add anything here I will come to this filters uh, section a separate video okay a row limit and all we can discuss later run in analytical mode okay we will see all different cases so this is how you can create a perspective and click on this save button so then you are done with creation of a perspective also so like this you can create multiple perspectives as per your business needs you can create separate separate perspective for your individual SAC dashboards okay um, next data preview we not yet seen the data preview right yes you see for the perspective uh, perspectives we have a deploy option I click it on save button now there is a deploy option also here so if you deploy it then it is deployed and then it can be consumed in the SAP analytics cloud and let's look into this data preview also one more time so click on the data preview icon so this data preview is coming for your perspective so this is how you are uh, you know result rows and everything if you and these are consumption attributes created on and all still okay I hope it is clear so this is how to create a consumption model and I within the consumption model how to create a perspective so if you want to create another perspective for a different uh, reporting functionality then click on this plus symbol then it will opt for you know ask for creation of a new perspective okay so this is all about the consumption models okay so that's all for today stopping recording